What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we're just fresh off a live stream. If you guys missed it, we did four and a half hours of pretty much everything. But today we are going to be taking a look at the new player of the week. Now when I say new, these are re-release type players, right? So if you've missed out on them the first go, uh, you will be able to spin for all of these. Of course, you'll see here that I've opened one already and we did actually get Harry Kane, uh, who's down here as a 95 centre forward. Listen, he's an okay card, right? He's an okay card. And when I say he's an okay card at this stage of the game, if you don't have a striker that has got like, you know, tight possession in the 80s, maybe 85, um, you know, physical contact, maybe 90, if you're looking for that target uh, type player or target man type player, he's an okay player, man. He's an okay player at this level of the game. You need a bit of mobility there. But we did get Harry Kane. If you've missed out on any of these previously, I would have liked Evan Ferguson um, and to get very similar cards, right? Or cards that they've, re -re they've released before that they're now re-releasing, right? But as I said, you can claim all of these. You can spin. There's no limit on these spins and you can get a free one with the events as well. So just to keep that in mind, right? You've also got another Messi, you've got Haaland, you've got Mbappe, you've got Ricey, okay? So for me personally, lads, straight away, any player that doesn't hit uh, with the new meta... Any defender or defensive player, whether it's DMF, CMF, CB, left back or right back, that doesn't hit at least 75 minimum speed, I don't want to know about him, right? Call me a little bit silly, call me a bit naive, call me whatever. Just trust me on this, right? Any of these players that you're seeing here, so you're talking about this centre back, Marcano, you're talking also about Mbemba. He's got 81 speed, but his stats are pretty poor defensively. He does have some nice uh, player skills, which is a little bit better than what you would use, usually get from a player like this. He's not a bad pull if you were to get him, but he's not really where you want him to be, right? De Lorenzo is the same. He's got 83 speed, which is nice. you will go to 85 with the manager boost or 86 with the, the Ten Hag boost. Uh, low pass is good. Tackling is good. Aggression is good. He's not a bad right back either. But unless you are going to be having you know, 75 plus speed and all the defensive stats in 90s, you are going to be at a disadvantage. That's just the way it is. Now, that doesn't mean that every player that you get needs to be a coin player. You can get GP players or free players that can do a job for you that will have those stats, right? So I will probably discount Williams, even though he's got speed and acceleration. His balance is quite low. I'm not going to spend too much time on this guy. Throw flip-flap on him, you can't. So that is the problem with these cards. You can't throw additional skills on him. If you could throw flip-flap on him with double touch and soul control, he might be worth talking about, um, especially as he's got some nice player skills there as well. But the balance is the killer and the tight possession is a killer on this card. Minamino, 88 balance would go to 90. His tight possession is a bit of a killer here for his whole player, even though his acceleration is high. Nice um, player card with lovely player skills. He's got one touch pass. He's got true pass and outside curler, double touch, long range curler. A lot of nice stats. But he's just a little bit, I think, maybe six months past his best, right? Timber, again, a very nice box-to-box -box DMF style player. Very good player skills, double touch, one touch pass, true passing, gamesmanship, interception, and fighting spirit. Very silky, very fluid, and very, very slick on the ball. Nice speed, nice stamina, very good tight possession and balance, and also aggression that nearly goes to 85. So he's not bad at all, right? We also have a goalkeeper, Vicario. His, uh, his awareness and his reflexes just aren't high enough, so he's a big no-no for me. Left midfielder, 96 acceleration with 87 balance, 80 tight possession. Fairly okay left midfielder, flip-flap, double touch. You can't throw soul control on him to get that ball roll, which is very important and you can't do it. So he's a bit of a miss for me as well. There is 33 players in this, lads, right? So we can't spend that much time going through them all. A lot of these players are carbon copies of themselves, right? And what I mean by that is the GP versions of them or a player that's similar to him. Like these two guys here that you're you're kind of talking about, right? This guy can play as an SS. He's got very good pace and 81 finishing. This guy can play as a AMF or uh, yeah, an AMF, but he's going to be a whole player as well. He's got 78 finishing and he's like a lot slower. So a lot of these players are just kind of taken from one to give to the other. One touch pass, double touch, true passing, fairly decent card as well as a whole player, but nowhere near the meta of what you would want, right? As we kind of move up along, we get another goalkeeper. I'm not even going to waste my time on a goalkeeper that doesn't go to 90 reflexes. You've got Matty Cash there as well. 89 speed, 95 stamina, 80 tight possession, 80 balance. Solid, very solid as a right midfielder. I'd probably play him right back as part of a 3-5-2. Um, we also have Antonio. Speed is good. Balance is, pro is pretty poor. Tight possession is pretty poor. So that doesn't really do it for me as a goal poacher. He is quite uh, beastly. He's got 88 physical contact. 
and his player skills are quite decent but these are very newcomer friendly lads they're not going to make a dent on your team if you've been playing for longer than i would say even a month at this stage they need to do something with the player of the weeks i like that they're trying to switch it up but i would like to see kind of like i don't even know what i'd call it i'd like to see kind of players that are very unique like maybe throw matoma in with ball roll like he has double touch and flip flap and soul control that's what you want that's what you want like a ball roll matoma or somebody like a ball roll Halland. Somebody different. That's unique. That's like, oh, it's a very unique card, right? Instead of just rinse and repeat, right? Dribbling, balance, and acceleration all past the 90s. This is one of the picks of the pack by a mile. Absolute beastly on the wing as well. And of course, he's on C rating. They're not even on A rating, so that makes a bit of an issue as well. You also have Duda, center midfielder as a whole player. Acceleration is pretty decent. He's an attacking player uh, rather than a central player, I'd say, in an AMF. Very good player skills, very good shooting skills. 80s across the boards and high 80s for most of his stats, which is quite decent. Singo and also Evan Ferguson and Danilo. Danilo is one of my favorite players to use, but his aggression is slightly low on this one. I would prefer Marquinhos or even Jimenez, who was there as the free. Blocker interception is brilliant. He can also play left or right back, so he's not a bad pull if you did get him. Uh, Evan Ferguson, taking away the Irish connection um i think he's a fairly decent player but he's lacking in a lot of stuff right he's lacking the player skills he's lacking the acceleration balance and tight possession he doesn't even have one touch pass and you can't give it to him so his passing is going to be all over the place and with the way the patch is at the moment the update is ridiculous man singo as well this guy is fairly tall he's actually got some nice player skills um but that's where the niceness kind of ends with this card right i know his heading is fairly decent his physical contact is decent his speed is ridiculously fast but his aggression, you need that aggression at least 85 match with that speed. Or else he's just a speed freak that has no defensive awareness of where he should be. Now, he could be good for you, but he's not somebody that I would recommend if you're going to be spinning for this, right? These three boys here, Luis Alberto. Feels like we've done a lot of Luis Alberto cards. Orchestrators just don't suit the, the gameplay at the moment, right? This guy's very silky. He's very, very nice on the ball. But the gameplay is not moving in that direction. You also have another left back. He's just an average left back. He's got blocker, man marking, area superiority, one touch pass, first time shot. He can play central as well. Um, that's probably where I'd play him, have it kind of like if you're starting out. Um, and of course, we have Kubo. Kubo's got a lot of cards. He's had a lot of cards over the last couple of weeks. Um, but acceleration, speed, dribbling, tight possession, balance, all that sort of stats are really, really nice. Not a bad card either. It starts to get a little bit kind of spicy in here if you're looking at Sterling, Davies, Son, Nunes, and Bastoni. Bastoni, we got a free one, so I wouldn't even bother if you're tempted to go for Bastoni. Uh, we had the free version of him. That's way better. Sterling is only average as well, even though his balance, speed, and acceleration are really good. His tight possession is a bit low, and it doesn't go past the 85 mark, even with the boosters. He does have one touch pass, true pass, and low lofted, and soul control, but he doesn't have double touch, and you can't give it to him, so it's a bit of a bust as well. Um, another goalkeeper I mean reflexes and reach go to 90 but that's about it Davies then as well one of my favorite left backs in the game not a bad card at all right I, we actually have this card it's not a bad card at all lads he's a beast plays way above his stats as well defensively is able to win the ball back listen when Messi can win the ball back effectively you don't need to worry about defensive stats right speaking of Messi we have him as a right winger here excellent ball control dribbling tight possession balance acceleration is pretty saucy too and of course, he's got all the player skills that you could possibly want. But we've had so many versions of Messi now, you should have a couple of them. Um, it's not worth spinning for, in my opinion, unless you really want that card. De Jong. I see a lot of people using De Jong. And this is a very solid card, lads. A very solid card. Speed is really nice. I've actually come up against this card, and it's, it's, it's caused me a lot of trouble, even when you're using Cruyff or somebody like that, right? Now, if you use, you know, Ronaldo or Forland, you can get on top of him and spin him quite easily. His passing out from the back, if you fancy yourself as a bit of a possession baller, He's a beast player to have at the back. Is it worth spinning for? Uh, I'm torn, right? Sun and Nunes are the same. You can play Sun through the through the hole through the center in a hole playing position as a goal poacher. His balance and tight possession do let this car down a bit, but he's still a beast. His player AI is unreal. And also you've got Nunes, who's going to have 90 plus speed, acceleration, stamina, and nearly 90 finishing and physical contact. So he's kind of a unique card. One of the best uh, players in the game that has super sub and fighting spirit with double touch. This is a very unique card, and I'm sure Liverpool fans will like him. Harry Kane, as we already mentioned, a bit too slow. Haaland, his balance kills him. This is where I would say if they wanted to bring out a good player of the week selection, why not bring out uh, Haaland with like 90 tight possession and 90 balance? You know what I mean? And make him like worth spinning. But as of now, he's barely usable, right? Unless he's a super sub, which is quite decent, okay? 
Mbappe, Rice, and of course, we also finish off with Kane. Oh, as we said, we've already focused him. This is one of the weakest versions of Declan Rice that they've actually brought out, right? His passing is really good, which boosts up his card. The rest of it is, is, pretty, is pretty poor. And then last but not least, we have Mbappe to round off this 10-minute video. Speed, acceleration, tight possession, ball control, and dribbling. All fairly decent. He also has 87 finishing. You won't get it to 90. It's, it's probably the one of the weakest Mbappe cards. I think what they're trying to do, man, genuinely, I think within the next six months, right? We'll talk about this in a future video. I think they're going to start to slowly strip back and make the grind of getting good players a little bit more difficult for maybe eFootball 2025. Because right here, right now, if you spin these packs and you have four or 500 coins and you get four or five of the best players as a newcomer and you are able to lead the line with Mbappe, Rice, Messi and Haaland and De Jong and build your team around them, it'll work for you. You'll have really good players for barely any input okay, or any investment. But you can also get some of these bad players here that just do not compare to their GP versions for what you're actually going to spend, which is real money, okay? So for me at the moment, there's only a couple of players really worth spinning for, and it's not the player of the weeks. Even the MVP selection, which we'll do next, you have a Rice in there as well. So they kind of undercut themselves. You've got Rugani, who's like Bastoni. So yeah, um, get your free one, see who you get, and then go, then go from there, right? Um, but yeah, that is it for me, lads. I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're on the road to 40k. We're nearly there. Thanks for the support. We'll be back soon. Peace.